Hi everyone, this is Docker Captain Nick coming at you with a pre-DockerCon Docker tip. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between Docker Compose API versions. Over the years, Docker Compose has changed quite a bit. If you're a trivia fan and were looking into Docker years ago, Docker Compose used to be called Fig. It was a project created by someone in the Docker community, and eventually it got so widely used that Docker officially merged it into its official toolset. I like that story because it's an excellent example of how contributing to an open source project can lead to big things. As for Docker Compose's versions, Docker tries its best to maintain backwards compatibility between versions. So while Docker Compose has changed over the years, it decided to do it in such a way that you can pick which version of Docker Compose's API you want to use. Currently, there's a number of different Compose API versions, and they are tied into the Docker daemons version. That would be your version of Docker CE or Docker EE. For example, Docker Compose API version 3 is only available to use if you're running Docker 1.13 or greater. It also includes Docker 17.03 or greater too. Out in the wild, you may see all three versions being used, but I would say nowadays version 1 is considered legacy, and you shouldn't write your Compose files to be compatible with it unless you have a very good reason to do so. You can recognize version 1 Compose files because they don't even have a version property defined. The biggest limitation of version 1 is it does not support the notion of services, networks, or volume namespaces. Version 2 is still very relevant, and if you're dealing with single server deploys, there's no harm in using it. But my recommendation would be to use version 3, or whatever happens to be the newest, because there's no additional overhead, and there might be a property or two that you'll find useful. Another thing that you should do is keep an eye out for new Docker Compose releases. These releases are independent of the Compose API versions, and they often include bug fixes that are worth upgrading for, even if you plan to stick with an older API version. And that's all I have to say. If you are interested in reading more about the exact changes between each API version, then check out the documentation by googling for Docker Compose versioning. I hope you enjoyed this tip, and if you have any questions about this tip or any other tip that's included in this pre-DockerCon tip series, then come join us at DockerCon and ask away. Thanks for watching. I'm Docker Captain Nick Genetakis, signing out.